So maybe by now you've sort of gotten into chat GPT and you may be using it to conduct some of your daily tasks at work. You want to hear this. A new study found workers who use the AI chatbot performed worse than their peers who did not. Mm. So joining us now in Studio 57 is Madeline Berg. She's a media editor at Insider. So that's like the headline, but there are there, details to it, right? right? So just break down how the researchers conducted uh, their work to come to this conclusion. Right. So this was a group of uh, researchers at BCG, Harvard Business School, MIT, Wharton, and they took um, a look at 760 consultants, and some of them were allowed to use ChatGPT, some of them weren't. And they gave them a series of tasks. Actually, ChatGPT did really well on some of the tasks. Mm. Tasks that ChatGPT is good at, like brainstorming, writing a press release, um, idea generation. People with the AI with ChatGPT performed 40% better. Huh. But wow. the issue is people who use ChatGPT for kind of more complex tasks and didn't check their work, that used it indiscriminately. And when you say complex, it was kind of like more open-ended right. Problem so right? Problem solving. Um, data analysis, um, using kind of data and interviews with a CEO or an executive. So it was kind of um, using a lot of material to really answer tough business questions. Right. So, so those are some of the shortcomings, right? I mean, we uh, oftentimes see media reports and we ourselves sometimes will say, oh, AI is going to replace a lot of the jobs. Um, that currently exists today, but uh, not so fast. Right. You're always going to need a human to check the AI. And I think that um, just as, as, as you said when we were chatting yeah. earlier, you would never let a new intern work without checking right. their work. You wouldn't let a robot work without checking. You double check your own work. And that was sort of the big takeaway from the study right. that I got is that people were overconfident. And that's why they ended up with a less desirable product. Yeah. Because they didn't double check the facts that ChatGPT was spitting out. Exactly. And actually, the group that was most confident was the group that not only had access to chat GPT, but also had training. And the, that was the group that did the worst on the complex task because they were the most confident. They thought, oh, I know right. how to use this and I have it. So and, and so it really is a confidence and a, um, just indiscriminately and blindly trusting what what is kind of a, I mean, a new robot. I can sort of see because, you know, once you start fooling around with it, you immediately become stunned by its capabilities. Right. And even though it's like stupid little stuff, have like you done the write art? me a have poem. Have you tried to like do like show me Superman yes. as an old man? Oh, yes. And I've it... wasted a lot of time doing yeah. that sort yeah. of thing, right? And so you start to kind of like become enamored with its capabilities. And even if it's, you know, the, the poems are kind of quirky and the imagery is not always the best, you're so into it that I can see you thinking it could do much more than it's actually capable of doing. Right, and, and there really are things ChatGPT is really good at. And I think that's something to remember. We've talked to real estate agents who write their listings with it. We've talked to software engineers who yeah. code with it. Teachers who write their lessons pl lesson plans with it. The issue is double checking it and, and knowing kind of it's boundaries and, and, and where it where it stops. Could you, so what would, for example, one of the things it can do, it could probably write an essay on war and peace, right? right? And if you were submitting that for college credit, how would a teacher be able to discern that a student had used artificial intelligence to write a term paper? They might not, they might not be able to, especially if it's a smart student and they and they go through it and really kind of make a change, yeah, make a few mistakes. Right. Yeah. I think that one issue the study did actually point out is that even with the things that ChatGPT does well, there's not a lot of diversity of idea. So What does that mean? That means that when chat, the consultants asked ChatGPT to brainstorm a new concept for a beverage, a lot of the ideas were really similar. Mm -hmm. And ah. so chances are mm -hmm. other students in that class are going to also be turning mm -hmm. to ChatGPT to write their essay on war and peace. And they would all look the same. And, right. and part of that reason is because ChatGPT is right now mining a certain number of years. It doesn't yes. have access to every, I, how far, do you know what it goes up to, I, what year it goes up to? I, it's like early 2000s, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think, and the, uh, the newest model does go up to today, and okay. you can get plugins that go up to today. It's just more like it's a robot, and yeah. it's going to, it's a program, and it's going to spit out ideas, and, and it's also going to make mistakes, too, and um, that could be a red flag as well for, for teachers, for workers who are using the the. AI. Right. There are there is software out there now that yes. teachers are using to flag. So to find whether yeah. or not you 
you so so it's interesting you write a term paper with artificial intelligence and then teachers use artificial intelligence to, to determine to determine whether or not yeah that's we actually did a story about like <laughs> chat gpt proofing the classroom and some professors are making students like back to the blue books handwriting their wow. handwriting their papers um or oral exams even so that's kind of one way that one of the things that I, I think is so fascinating is that we yeah. use artificial intelligence for example like in 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 vehicles and even in aircraft right mm -hmm. but but I keep thinking about Sully Sullenberger landing that plane oh, on yeah. the Hudson oh, River my God. like nine out of ten times maybe artificial intelligence gets it maybe yeah. it doesn't yeah. right but this human being skill experience yeah. all the things that AI doesn't have can't there's no yeah, price on that yeah there's no replacing us there's Everyone no replacing us down. there's no replacing us <laughs> well maybe us <laughs> there's no replacing us they can't do, they can't do this <laughs> <Is it> chemistry <laughs> <laughs> Malenberg, thank you very much thank you so Appreciate much for it. having me <laughs>